Today on our 2013 Toyota Tacoma, we're going to be taking a look at and installing eTrailers.com's trailer hitch, part number E98850. Now this hitch is going to work great for you if you need to tow maybe some dirt bikes or ATVs, maybe even a jet ski or a small boat. Now what sets this hitch apart from many of the others is its matte black finish. It gives it that carbide-like appearance and that rugged look. Now this is a class three hitch. It's gonna have a two by two inch receiver opening. It's going to accept a standard 5 8 pin. It's gonna have some nice hooks welded on here to accept our safety chains. Now our hitch has a maximum gross trailer weight of 5,000 pounds and a maximum tongue weight of 500 pounds. However, when used with the weight distribution system, our maximum trailer weight goes up to 5,500 pounds and our maximum tongue weight goes up to 550 pounds. Now with that being said, you do wanna check your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can tow that weight. Now I'll give you a few measurements. From the ground to the top of the receiver opening is 20 inches. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the back edge of the bumper is four inches. To begin our trailer hitch install, we're gonna to have to remove some bolts up here. First, we'll have to loosen these three bolts and completely remove these two on each side of the bumper bracket. Now keep in mind when we do loosen up all those bolts, it will allow the back bumper to pivot, so it's not a bad idea to support it some way. All right, our bolts are going to use a 17 millimeter socket. Now with these three bolts loose and these two removed, we'll repeat the same steps on the other side. Now before we install our hitch, there's two holes here from the factory that are on the bottom of the frame rail that we will be utilizing to bolt our hitch up. So before we do that, we need to spray a little lube in them and clean them out with a pipe brush. All right, we need to clean out those holes on both sides. Now the hitch is gonna come with four bolts and four washers, and these are gonna be used to fill the bottom holes on the factory frame rails. And don't forget when we use our conical washer to put the teeth facing the hitch. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the hitch in. You're definitely gonna need a buddy to uh, lend you a hand to do this. The hitch is pretty heavy. Now this bolt here does have limited clearance, so when you're getting it started, it might help to use a ratchet wrench, and then once you make your way up a little bit, you should have enough room to get a socket and ratchet on it. Once you have those bottom bolts tightened, you can come back up here and install these two that you removed and tighten those fully too. All right, now that we have our hitch secured, you can go ahead and remove this bolt. That was one that we had loosened earlier. And with our kit, we can take this shim, slide it into place, reinstall it, and tighten it. All right, now we're gonna repeat that same process on this very back bolt here. Now that we've installed both of our shims, we can go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. Now that we have everything secured, we wanna check our instructions for our torque specifications. Once we find that number, use your torque wrench to achieve that spec. Now with everything tightened up on our e-trailer hitch, we're ready to hit the road in our 2013 Toyota Tacoma.